Hello everyone, welcome back for another lesson. In this lesson we will begin a new chapter and we will talk more specifically about mechanical engineering. So first of all, what is engineering? Well, engineers create objects that, are u that use verified technological principles to help humans meet their needs. So in other words, we're creating, ob creating objects to better our lives. There are various types of engineering. There's mechanical, chemical, biomedical, electrical, computer, and civil engineering. In this um, chapter, we will be focusing on mechanical engineering. So what is mechanical engineering? It's a branch of engineering that deals with the design, construction, operation, and improvement of systems or technical objects. We have two examples here. Example number one, we have a can opener. Well, this would have been an old style opener, right? With just the um, the space over here, and uh, to, that that we would use we we would use the lever approach, so we would use our strength to try and open something. Here, while well, we've bettered the system, uh, we just turn this little part over here, and the can opener does the work for us. So we've bettered the system. Same thing for bicycles. This was the original shape of bicycles. So you had a huge wheel. You had to kind of climb up, basically, um, to get onto the bicycle. And you had the little wheel in the back. Now, this was not efficient. It was somewhat dangerous. You couldn't go as fast as far. Obviously, bicycles keep on... Um, the design keeps on getting better. They keep on getting lighter and faster and so on and so forth. So... That is the job of an engineer, is to take something, an object, and make it better, improve upon it. So what is a mechanical function? So now we'll be looking at functions or roles that are played by mechanisms inside a more or less complex object. Okay, so that's a function. It's a role played by a mechanism inside the object. Now, what is a mechanism? It's a part of an object that plays a specific role. Now, there are five mechanical functions. I know I'm giving you a lot of definitions. We're going to go over them more in detail, but we just need to kind of cover the basics first. So there are five mechanical functions we're going to be talking about. The first one is the function of link. So what is holding parts together? Um, what kind of substance or what kind of component? Guide and control. It's uh, when one or more parts allow... Another part to rotate, translate, or both together, but it's really guiding and controlling that type of movement so the movement doesn't start being uh, wobbly, for example. Lubrication, it reduces the friction between two or more parts. Seal, it's a mechanism that prevents leaks. It could be for gases, liquids, or solids from an object. And support, well, it says it, it supports, right? So it's a part or component that holds up other parts, um, you know, above them or type of thing. Okay, so it's ho it holds up another corresponding part. So now we're going to be looking at more specific examples. All right, so what's a link? We said something that holds parts together. So we have here examples. We could weld two pieces of metal together. So we are basically melting a substance that is making everything hold together. So we're linking the two pieces together. In a bike, we have a lot of nuts and bolts that are uh, holding the, the various parts together. Uh, we could have screws, we could have nails, we could have glue. Those are all substances that are used to link objects together. Down the road uh, in the next lesson, uh, we're going to talk about links more specifically. But that's it for now. Next, we have the guide and control. I, as I told you, it allows for parts to rotate, translate, or both, but it guides them so the movement uh, stays very precise. So I'm going to use the first example here at the bottom. So the drawers have uh, a kind of a component here, so a metal part that allows them to slide in and out without being wobbly. The old style furniture didn't have this, so the um, the drawers were very wobbly. You would pull them out, but they would go a little bit sideways, up and down, and whatnot, depending on how you were pulling them out. So this keeps their movement very straight, so it guides the movement. Same thing for a wheel over here on a bicycle. So the wheel is turning, right? But the frame is allowing it to turn, uh, I'll use the word very straight, it's not wobbly within 
the whole um, structure over here. Same thing for the door. This component here allows for the door to rotate on this axis, but only to rotate, not go up and down, for example, not translate. So that's for guiding control. Next, we have lubrication. So it's something that reduces friction. So when we cook, for example, we're going to put oil, butter, maybe Pam at the bottom of um, the container we're using to make sure that the, the food doesn't stick. Okay, so we're lubricating the, um, the, the pan, for example. Same thing if we have a door that creaks, um, we're going to put a little bit of uh, oil, specific, a specific type of oil, to grease uh, the, the metal parts here so they don't uh, stick together and make that, that sound that we all hate. Uh, same thing for a bike. If we think of the chain over here, we're going to put, we're going to grease it to make sure that the whole system turns properly without uh, making awkward sounds or without uh, coming off or without having to force too much because the mechanism is not working properly. So that's the function of lubrication. Then we have the function of seal. So we're trying to prevent a liquid or a gas from escaping the system or entering a system sometimes. So here we have the cork, so we're gonna seal a bottle so the, 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 the liquid inside doesn't come out. Uh, if we do some plumbing, we might use some special glue or we might use some pieces like these uh, to connect the different parts together, but connect them in a, in a way that everything is sealed. Obviously, if you're doing plumbing, you don't want the water as you're, you're flushing down a toilet or as you're uh, using the sink, for example, the faucet. You don't want the water coming from the faucet and going down the sink to go all over your cabinet that's underneath. And then at the bottom here, we have some caulking. So we'll put some caulking around a sink, for example, or a bathtub to make sure that if there's water that splashes, it won't go under the sink or the bathtub. Okay, so we're sealing everything. And finally, we have the function of support. So the function of support is where a part holds up other corresponding parts. So here we'll have these components here that would hold up the rest of the chair. The legs are holding up the top part of the table. The wheels and the frame are holding up all the other components of the car. So in, a, uh, in, in an object, we might have all functions that are involved. So if we look at the bicycle, we have the guiding control. So we're guiding the movement of the bicycle by guiding the movement of the wheel. We have the support, right, the support supports other components. Links will have nuts, nuts and bolts and screws that link all the pieces together. The tires are sealed so the gas doesn't ex escape and lubrication of the chain so this whole system over here works properly. Okay, so all mechanical functions can be present in a given object. So that's it for this lesson. This was the overview of the uh, different functions. Uh, that we can encounter when we look at a mechanical uh, object. In the subsequent um, lesson, we're going to dive into each function more specifically. So if you have questions, reach out, and otherwise, I'll see you for your next lesson. And until then, take care.